School leaders from across the state are here in Texas for a massive public school convention this weekend. As Gov Governor Greg Abbott, of course, continues to push for private school vouchers, the state's public schools are pushing for more funding. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joining us in Dallas, where those conventioneers are gathering. Good evening, Alex. Hey, good evening, Steve. You know, the Texas Education Conference is the largest annual gathering of school superintendents and trustees from around the state. They're all here throughout the weekend in Dallas, and school leaders from both large and rural school districts came together to demand that a state lawmakers fully fund public education. Having them come together should send a very powerful, united message that Texas stands firmly behind its public schools. Standing shoulder to shoulder, public school leaders from across the state are calling on the state legislature to fully fund public education. Nothing is more fundamental to making every child's potential a reality than strong public schools for all children. The show of solidarity comes ahead of another special session expected to be called by Governor Greg Abbott in order to pass one of his priorities, school choice or school vouchers, depending on who you talk to about this hot button issue. Our state leaders are considering siphoning even more funds away from our beloved public schools and communities to subsidize the private school tuition for privileged few. And we all know that that is just plain wrong. Chris Moran is superintendent of White House ISD, located just east of Tyler. His rural district has just 5,000 students, and he added that there are very few private schools in the area. That reality has kept many rural Republican state lawmakers from supporting Abbott's plan. Public schools serve all children. They're paid for by all taxpayers. No matter the size of the public school district, superintendents appear to be struggling with similar problems, teacher retention and massive budget deficits. Dallas ISD recently passed a $186 million stopgap to give just modest salary increases. That is not sustainable. There's only so much in a savings account. And then there's the added expense of hiring armed security guards at every public school, as mandated by the state legislature this past session. But districts are provided with very little funding to do so. Crowley ISD has spent three million on armed security alone. We creating deficit budgets locally while the state has this surplus and so it's, it really speaks volumes on what's important. And meanwhile, Governor Greg Abbott has declared Sunday, October 5th, School Choice Sunday. He's calling on pastors to support the legislation during worship services. I can tell you that uh, Pastor Robert Jeffress of First Baptist Dallas is among those influential leaders that says he will do just that. A date for that special session has yet to be set. Steve. All right, Alex Boyer live for us in uh, Dallas.